McDonald's in uh, Douglas, and uh, just want to make, I'm about to uh, head off to the town of Glen Rock, and today is the 29th of July, which means that uh, I've been on the road for one year today, one year of riding a bicycle. I just was uh, here at McDonald's and... Uh, Posted it on Twitter and Facebook and everywhere else. So, one year, 365 days. A, a year ago today, I started on the Yelm to Nino Trail, and I had no idea I was gonna make it. You know, I would have been home by now if I didn't stay in uh, Key West for two months. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going far today. Just 40 miles to the town of Glen Rock. They have a little campground uh, just outside of town called the South Recreation Complex. I don't know what it's going to look like. It looks good on the internet. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to stop up here, air up my tires, and uh, get on the road. The uh, town of Douglas is right here. And uh, I'm taking uh, Highway 93. There's really only two ways to get to uh, Glen Rock. One is take I-25, and the, if you go to the uh, link to the PDF file in uh, the video description box, I'll put a link to the uh, Wyoming official bicycle route map, and it shows that the uh, recommended route from Douglas to Casper is on Highway 93 and to Glen Rock, and then Highway 95 into uh, Casper. So I'm uh, hopped in to take 93. Should be a lot less traffic. It looks like there's a uh, shoulder. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not going far today. I I got a full load of food. I don't know why. I've got like six bananas and two oranges and all kinds of stuff. So I'm I'm weighted down, but I'm only doing 40 miles today. Come out of Douglas here, oh, six miles or so out on uh, 93, and I'm crossing the uh, North Platte River. This river actually comes from snow melt out of uh, Colorado, so uh, it's it's real high right now, and they're not expecting it to go down. It really hadn't even started to melt in the mountains in Colorado. So I'm going down 93 this way, and uh, I'm looking for road, uh, County Road 27, aka Tank Farm Road, and uh, it's pretty desolate out here. I think a, a truck just passed me, so I think that's the second one, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Welcome to uh, Tank Farm Road, and as I thought from Google Maps satellite view, it is a gravel road. I got about 15 miles to go on it, but that's okay. It's a pretty good gravel road, looks like. It's in good shape. Got to watch out for the rattling snakes because they're going to be out here. I've seen something crawl through here. I don't know what it was. <laughs> so yeah, here you are. Uh, it's about as desolate as you can get. Big mountains out here. There is a ranch right there. But uh, I'm going to be traveling right on the banks of the uh, North Platte River. And uh, about, I, don't, I can't remember, about eight miles down, there's a uh, access point to the river called Bixie, Bixby Access. Uh, and I think it's BLM. And then. Uh, Pulling into the town of Glen Rock, probably oh, 15 miles down a dirt road. So this is why you really need to uh, like I'm weighted down with water and food. And this is why, because if anything happened on the bike here, if I had some kind of major malfunction, some kind of failure with the drivetrain or the wheels, I might be stuck out here for a night or two without food and water. So. 
you make sure that you have everything you need and uh, make sure your bike is in good condition to do a little uh, I'm gonna call this off-road even though it's really not off-road but uh, shoot I've been on uh, I did 400 miles of uh, dirt road on the uh, CNO canal and uh, the gap 400 miles and then I was on dirt roads in Illinois and Indiana and Iowa so why not the back country of Wyoming County Road 27 here's what it looks like so I'm cruising down here on uh, County Road 27 and it just occurred to me, you know, I wish, I have uh, 480 subscribers now, 480 something subscribers. So I'm getting a lot of traffic, people are really interested in what I'm doing here. And I wish that I could take all 482 of you for a ride on this road. Because <laughs> uh, it's, it's just completely silent. Oh, and there's uh, some pronghorn antelopes. And uh, it's just open range, and you know I could probably just camp anywhere if I wanted to camp. I mean, obviously it's like 9:30 in the morning. But I wish I could take. Uh, oh, my friend from Poland, uh, and I think it's Anmus. I think there's some numbers I can't. Remember. I'll put the this uh, screen name on it right here. I wish I could take him, and I wish I could take. Uh, a guy who bicycle tours, who's Javanese. I think his uh, YouTube channel is Tourist something. I can't remember what it is. But uh, I wish I could take all you guys on this <laughs> on this road because I mean the scenery is just fantastic. The temperature is in the low 70s. The sky is huge. The mountains are in the background. It's just incredible. And. Uh, I know most of you probably will never be able to go on the back roads in Wyoming like this. So this gives you a chance to see what this is like. Sorry I'm bouncing around. <laughs> it's kind of, it's a li I mean, I'm keeping the speed down because it will rattle you. But uh, it's just amazing. It's just what I was looking for. See this. Hello, Cal. And they're basically all around, and uh, they won't hurt you. <laughs> I remember the time I was in the Gila National Forest in New Mexico, and I thought I saw a bear, and it turned out to be a cow. <laughs> yeah, so these uh, big herd of bears here. Uh, Bixby Access. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, BLM land. It's right on the banks here of the uh, North Platte, and uh, it's about 10 miles from Highway 93. And uh, I could camp here. I believe the camping is free, or five bucks. I don't know. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do is continue on into the town of Glen Rock, and uh, it's just beautiful out here. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure how many miles I've got. It's probably eight more miles or six, something like that, to the town of Glen Rock. And uh, I'll camp down there in the uh, recreation area. They've got a big, big place to camp down in uh, Glen Rock. So, this is uh, Bixby. This would be a fine stay if you wanted to stay for like two or three days and you were. Uh, I don't know if they have water here. They may. I haven't. I'll probably get up here and have a look at it. 
that'd be the only uh, limiting factor. So I've just dropped down here to the uh, Bixby uh, access area. Here's the river, which uh, would be nice and inviting for a swim. Uh, you can camp. There's a whole bunch of trees right there. It looks like great camping. There's a pit toilet here. And uh, there's no water. So that is the, the factor that you have to think. It is free here at the uh, Bixby Access area. And there's a five day limit. So you can stay here for five days. And uh, I thought this was federal. It doesn't seem to say. Uh, maybe it's just a, a state thing. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna move on. This would be a very nice place to stop. So we've come another uh, probably four or five miles, and uh, the wind has kicked up pretty good. But I'm here on uh, another crossing of the Platte River, the north branch of the Platte, and uh, I just got a couple more miles. I got to go down. North, to the north side of the river and then into the town of Glen Rock. It's still uh, a dirt gravel road. I had to get off and push a couple times and there's been um, washboards and some real soft sand, but nothing I couldn't handle. So I guess I did about 15 miles of uh, dirt road here on County Road 27. And then right here at, uh, I guess this is a uh, power generator, power generation station. But now it's uh, paved. It just started being paved right here. <laughs> and I can see I-25 maybe a mile and a half ahead. So I'm getting close. Uh, Glen Rock, uh, I can see the water tank. So I'm going to five miles. And uh, we'll be there. I'm going to look for a library. Uh, it's a small town, so... Celebration? <laughs> One year. It's crazy. So, uh, we've come just another uh, mile down the way. I've come to this marker for Alva Unthank. It's 19 years old, and And they passed by here. Wagon train. Uh, on the Oregon Trail. By the way, the Oregon Trail here is marked. This marker was made in 1918 and it says Oregon Trail marked by the state of Wyoming. And Alva Unthank died here uh, of cholera. And uh, it's just interesting that, uh, you know, I forgot that the Oregon Trail, I mean, I came up the uh, Lewis and Clark Trail, I, I followed their trail. Iowa, but uh, I hope I pass more uh, markers the Oregon Trail would be nice. Hey, if you're pulling into Glen Rock and looking for a place to camp, the uh, South Recreation Complex is a good place. So you're going to come down 20 right here. Uh, it's right on the east side of town. You're going to look for Mormon Canyon Road. And uh, it's about two and a half miles down this way till you get to uh, Highway or uh, Interstate 25. When you go under the interstate, there's an immediate right. And it drops down the hill and as at the campground. So uh, you're looking for Mormon Canyon Road and this sign. here at the uh, South Recreation Complex and uh, what you get over here is a baseball field, there's a big rodeo ground, and there's camping in this area right here. There's a pit toilet right over there and there's water available. Uh, there is uh, a five day limit to uh, camping. Camping is free. Say this right here about 150 feet away is 
Interstate 25. So there's going to be some road noise. So I'm uh, battling a strong headwind today. But I'm only going to Casper. And uh, right here on the west side of town is uh, a historic marker for Rock in the Glen. And basically it's a large sandstone structure that uh, was soft enough for uh, the people on the Oregon Trail to carve their names and dates in. So it's kind of cool. So you definitely want to check that out. So I'm here in uh, Casper, Wyoming, which I believe is Ca uh, Wyoming's uh, most populated city. Could be wrong about that. Um, the 25 miles that I rode from Glen Rock to Casper felt like 50 miles. It is incredibly windy, right on my face. So uh, I'm right here in downtown. I know the ho I'm going to stay in a hotel tonight, and uh, I know the hotel is. Uh, I'm gonna figure out how to get over there. No, it's that way. It's like on the northwest side of town. But uh, yeah, here, here's uh, Casper, Wyoming. It's, mm, you know, Casper is not that friendly of a town, quite honestly. It's not getting any awards for sure. Uh, there's very few places to camp in town. There's three. Uh, none of the city parks allow camping. There's no state parks or county parks near the, the town. And the three private RV parks are very expensive. You know, you're looking at KOA kind of stuff, you know, 28 bucks a night to camp. So I'd stay in a hotel. If I'm going to give $28, I'd rather just stay in a hotel for 10 more, you know. So uh, I'm going to go uh, wander around here and figure out where this hotel is, <laughs> if I can find it. And uh, make my way west tomorrow. I am uh, on the last day in Casper. And uh, right here is Cy Avenue. I'm on the southwest side of town and leaving town on Highway 220. Uh, I'm not going too far, just 40 miles to the town of Alcova. And I'm going to camp at, uh, I think it's called Gray Reef Reservoir. And after that, for the next three days or so, I have uh, some pretty desolate places to, to go it's through the range, through the desert. So I have uh, put, I've taken my Coleman fuel, which I just bought a new bottle here at uh, Walmart. Oh, by the way, if you have any camping needs, tent, sleeping bag, sleeping pad, it, pretty much anything you can imagine, there's a sporting goods store here, outdoor store called Sportsman Warehouse. It's on the uh, east side of town, the northeast side. And uh, they have everything. As a matter of fact, I picked up a can of bear spray. That's what I went there for. And I also bought a new spork, one of the big light my fire sporks, because I lost mine. But anyway, so now I'm carrying one, two, three, four bottles of 1.5 liter bottles of water, which is a lot of water. But it's basically like a two-day supply, and uh, I might need two-day supply. And uh, so I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this. I don't like putting this right in my bag. So I'm going to try tying it off on the bottom of the trailer. Or maybe something like this. Set it right on the... Nah, see, I had to get in the spokes. I have to figure it out. When I figure it out, I'll show you. But, uh, yeah, you know what? I can go a long way with no food, but I have a hard time if I run out of water. Because there just ain't, there's just no places. The next town after Alcova is going to be... Jeffrey City and uh, there's nothing there it's like 60 miles and then it's another 60 miles to Lander so when I leave Alcoa, Alcova I should be able to get water in Jeffrey City but nothing else so I've got food and water for two or three days it's heavy so right here on the uh, end of town right on the edge of town there is a, uh, a Walmart Supercenter 
Uh, there's a McDonald's. And yeah, there's a Starbucks. And uh, I got 200 miles to go in open range land where there ain't nothing. It's gonna take me three days. And if I don't, if I don't stop and have some internet right now, I probably ain't gonna see any till lander. So I'm gonna stop here at uh, Starbucks and uh, have a latte and probably goof off for an hour on the internet. Yeah, I'm going in and had my coffee here at Starbucks. And uh, I'm all rigged up, ready to go. Just wanted to show real quick. Uh, I've got this bottle tied down to the back. It's in there pretty good, too. I think that'll hold. It's a lot of weight back there. I'm really heavy. I uh, just want to say that a year ago today, I crossed the uh, dreaded Astoria Bridge from um, Washington over the mouth of the Columbia River to Astoria, Oregon. And it was on August the 3rd, and that's my brother's birthday. Happy birthday. And uh, it seems so strange that uh, here I am a year later in Wyoming. Weather could not be better. It's a little sunny. It's a little warm. I think it's about 85 degrees. The wind is brisk out of the southwest. Unfortunately, I'm headed into the southwest. But I got to get on the move because it's 12 o'clock. I haven't even got out of the city yet. But I only have 34 miles to go, so it could be a leisurely pace. But I am loaded down. I shouldn't really have all this water. I just really needed an, an extra bottle, so I may dump the water from one of the bottles and uh, and just carry the extra bottle and fill it up when I get to Alcova. Tomorrow, tomorrow and the next day are the days that I'm really worried about because I have, I think there's 60 plus days, 60 mile plus days, and uh, I'm telling you, there is nothing between here and uh, the Tetons. Anyway, let's get on the road.